Well, good day YouTube and welcome back to another video from a Radioactive Scale RC. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've been able to get a video up, so I wanted to get uh, one up here as soon as I could. And today we're going to do, do a opening box opening of the SAX-10 3 Jeep Gladiator JT. And uh, we'll discuss why I got this truck and just have a quick look at it and what I plan to do with this truck. So stay tuned. Well, hey everybody, and as you can tell by the intro uh, sitting in front of us, we've got the SCX-10 3 Jeep Gladiator JT, and uh, this was a birthday present to me from my spouse, uh, which was a few days ago, and uh, she picked me up this uh, JT Gladiator. Uh, wasn't my plan to do another SCX-10 next, but because recently I purchased myself a one-to-one -one, uh, Jeep Gladiator Mojave 2021 I of course wanted to be able to have a mini truck that is going to look like my Mojave I will put a couple pictures to that vehicle that I purchased uh, at the end of the video and so it's going to be a little bit different because it's not a Rubicon but it is the uh, JT Mojave edition so the hood is a little different but we're going to try and, and duplicate that, that vehicle as much as I possibly can. So I have a 110 scale of my one-to-one -one Gladiator. Uh, beautiful vehicle, really happy with it so far. Uh, it's my first uh, Jeep. My wife owns a Jeep. It is my first Jeep. I also have a big Dodge Ram dually truck that I have for pulling our trailer and stuff. So I wanted a smaller day, day, daily driver. So I picked up a brand new 2021 Gladiator. Really happy with it. So yeah, so we're going to just pull this out of the box. There's a ton of these box openings because they've been out there for so long. But I uh, just want to go over what uh, my plans are with this. And uh, you'll see the photos, uh, a photo or two of the uh, Gladiator that I purchased and how I'm going to try and duplicate that as much as I possibly can. To get it as close as I can, like I said, it is a Rubicon here. I bought the Mojave edition, the uh, Desert Trail rated edition. So we'll get into this box and see what we got. It was, uh, like I said, definitely not my plan to uh, do an SCX-10-3. Uh, at this time, I was more towards doing another uh, RC four wheel drive vehicle, but uh, I said my wife bought me this for my birthday so I could have one like the big one that I bought myself. So we'll get this out of the box. I know you guys have seen this, so we're not going to go over the box and what's on the box because there's a ton of them out there. I, I did want the uh, gray edition, uh, the dark gray edition, and unfortunately where I picked it up uh, the day we picked it up, they only had red in stock, so we bought the red because I plan on changing the body anyways once I get one ordered up and find one. Uh, nobody in, in the area, uh, my local hobby shops anyways, have the uh, Axial uh, JT blank body for the Gladiator, so I'm going to have to do some hunting or get one ordered in from somewhere, maybe right from uh, Axial, I'm not sure, but I will find one and we will start to build. So, I'm just gonna get this out of the box. Not out of the way. There it is. I'm liking how it looks already. I'll pull it out of that. Reminds me of the Gladiator that I got parked in the driveway. Box away. And we got the new DX3 remote, uh, which I probably won't use. I will probably bind it up to my rugged. Let's get this out. I don't think she's attached in there anywhere. Oh, yeah, she is. Got a couple zip ties there. We're gonna have to snip off. Hope you guys can see that. I'll, I'll have a look at the the uh, 
camera here to make sure once I get this out I had it back a little further to so you could see the box okay I think there's number three well, there she be and we've got some stuff in the box here we'll take that out Let me turn off my 3D printer here. We're getting a bit of noise from it. So there is the SCX-10 3 Jeep Gladiator. And I'm just going to move the camera here, guys, into a better spot so we can see it a little better. Bear with me a sec. Okay, so there she is. So we got, looks like a receiver box because this has the... Uh, receiver ESC uh, combo, the new um, Fir Firma, I think it is, and we got some batteries and looks like some small tools and stuff to probably uh, screws to install that battery or that receiver box. Um, if I decide to change out that ESC, but from what I understand, it binds up with the rugged without any problems, and we got the book. So we all know what that is. Oh, we'll take that off. Oh, these are nice to take off. Simple. They're not that sticky stuff. So yeah. So my plan for this, as you'll see at the end of the video, is to try and mimic my full-size uh, Gladiator. And again, like I said, it's it's not a Rubicon. It is the Mojave Edition. So the hood is a little different on my my truck I've got zip tie there I've got a hood scoop up front here I don't have the uh, like this has the Rubicon vents there mine is right here um, I might be able to 3d print something over the next little while I'll see if I can design uh, the scoop to, to, to mount on here or take cut a hole in the body or something but I'm gonna plan on doing uh, doing that and the body will be course replaced because I want to paint it the same color and I have the uh, Jeep Sting Grey which is a really nice color. Um, pretty impressed with this vehicle already though. Uh, from what I understand the clips are underneath. Yeah right here. So there's one. There's two which is kind of nice. No body pins on top and it's probably two back here. One and two. So let's get that body off and I heard there's lights and they are connected so there is a light kit installed so we have to unplug those right from the ESC there we go put that aside so there is our that's a big body that that's there's a lot of a lot of space in there um, there is our um, two in one ESC. Yeah, it is the Firma Spectrum Firma 40 amp smart ESC. Uh, bind button right on the top. Uh, looks like the wiring is all zap strapped together pretty nice. Again, we got the little connectors for the auxiliary lights. And then we also have one, two auxiliaries open in the ESC so we could add additional power coming from there. So yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with uh, the size of it. I, I have an SCX-10 II and it definitely is a longer chassis. And I picked up, uh, just to run with this ESC, uh, I, I didn't plan on changing it out right away. So I did, um, I did pick up, there is a click they say in the transmission. and I can hear that click right there I don't know if you guys can hear that they say there's some type of click in the, in the transmission and that's in reverse but I don't hear it it's forward so we may have to figure try and figure out what that is uh, hopefully they have I thought they would have sorted that out but yeah you can hear it in reverse 
I'm not exactly sure what that is. So I did pick up uh, two smart batteries. Uh, these are 2S 7.4 30 cell 5000 milliamp uh, lipos. I picked up two of them. Uh, they weren't too bad. I think they were 50 bucks a piece. Uh, just so I could run without having to do any uh, changing of the, the plug or anything on it. So I did pick two of those up uh, at the same time when I got the truck so that I could get it out running as I wait for their, the body to come in when I find one and start building. Um, the body itself the only real changes that are going to happen with the new body is of course I'm going to find it and paint it the same color as mine try to figure out that hood scoop and I think that would be it uh, it's a it's it's a nice body because the box you can you can do black because it's a separate piece it screws out uh, your interior of course comes out so you can make changes to that if you like or change how your dudes painted inside he has black body so you could paint uh, paint his his uh, clothes I guess his face is uh, skin color and the hat looks like it's brown but uh, yeah I'm pretty impressed with that at least it's got some interior and a driver uh, but yeah so I just wanted to quickly get a video up uh, today guys just because I haven't put one up for a few weeks and let you know that I, I'm still here I uh, with summer here I spend a lot more time out and about doing things and and spending time in the outdoors is is my enjoyment too so i'm going to get some more run videos going of the uh, d90 and of course we'll get some run videos of the gladiator and we will call this part one of the build um i'm going to order that body as soon as i can find where i can get it and uh we're going to start building it and adding some of course you know me upgrades to make it uh, as close to my my one-to-one -one Mojave as I possibly can. I, I might try and find someone that could get me the decals on the side here uh, with the orange on the sides instead of the red. Uh, the Mojave is orange based. Um, probably the CC hand front and rear bumpers uh, that are the replicas of the actual bumpers on the, uh, the Gladiators and then the Jeep Wranglers. Uh, so they're available from RC four wheel drive. I've been looking at those and yeah so there are a few things we're going to look at doing and trying to get it the same as my my one-to-one -one. and i'm looking forward to this build because now i own a real one uh, i want to be able to have a small one to go with my real one so yeah so uh thanks guys for coming and watching just a quick video on the next build and a little overview of what we're going to be doing with it and why i got this and and stuff so hopefully uh everyone's been having a good uh spring slash summer so far and uh, if you're here just visiting and you're not a subscriber please subscribe and uh, click that bell so you get notified when i upload more content and like i said guys i will try to get as, as, uh, some more videos up a little more at least one or two a week if i can uh, with summer around I, I'll be out sea doing and, and getting things uh, going outside in the yard and stuff too so I'll try to get as many uh, videos up as I can and get out at crawling as much as I can but uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, keep your eyes open for future videos on this build and some run videos and uh, we'll see you at the next one everybody stay safe cheers